Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a new chapter. Amines. Amines are derivative of ammonia. When one hydrogen of ammonia is replaced with one group, a R group, then we get one degree amine. If we further replace one more hydrogen, and add one more R group then it becomes a 2 degree amine and if we further repeat the same step replacing this hydrogen and adding one R group then we get a 3 degree amine right so these are the three class of amines that we will be studying in this chapter and they are amines amines are basically nitrogen atom attached with one carbon at least so they are basically ammonia derivatives depending upon the number of carbon this nitrogen is attached with the degree of amine would come out of it like if this is attached with one carbon one degree amine this is two degree amine this is three degree amine fine the naming of amines uh, you must be knowing because we did it when we studied nomenclature and uh, for example if you have to name this compound this compound is 2-propenamine that's how you name it Fine. Now, if we replace these two hydrogen by two methyl groups, then these two methyl groups or this whole amine part, this is named as N-methyl N-methyl. You can also name it as name it as N-N-dimethyl. N-methyl, N-methyl propenamine fine this is how you're going to name it if you have a compound like this now this is named as n-methyl n-methyl aniline because aniline you are very much familiar with this is aniline and when you are replacing a hydrogen in a basic structure of amine by R groups those R groups are named like this N-methyl, N-methyl whatever R group is if you have a methyl and ethyl then it would be named as N-ethyl, N-methyl, aniline that's how you name it fine one more thing if you have a salt suppose uh, if you have a salt of amine because Suppose you have a 3 degree amine and now you are going for a further reaction. Suppose you reacted this with an alkyl halide. Then since nitrogen has a lone pair, when it is in trivalent state, this lone pair can go and attack this R group and from the front this X can come out. So when that happens, nitrogen makes 4 bonds. These R groups can be same, they can be different as well. Now when it makes the 4th bond, a plus charge appears on nitrogen because nitrogen is giving its electron into the orbital of R and you will have a X minus here so it will be a form of salt now it will form a salt and this will be a quad quaternary ammonium ion the degree of nitrogen is 4 because it is attached with 4 carbons for example If we have this particular salt, now this will be named as ethyl ammonium sulfate. This, um, because it is ethyl amine and it's a, it's, it's having a plus charge on it, so it will be named as ethyl. ammonium sulfate fine similarly 
if you have c6 h5 and h3 plus let's take nitrate this time then it will be named as anilinium nitrate because this part if if you remove h plus from here this will become aniline because it is having a plus charge it will be anilinium so this is anilinium nitrate that's what you that's how you name the salt and that's how you name the amines now quickly start gets let's get started with the reactions of this chapter we'll begin with the methods of preparations of amines and then we'll look then we'll leap forward for their reactions so let's start to study one by one how we produce how we prepare amines reaction number 1 will be reduction of nitro groups if we have a nitro alkane like this then we can reduce this nitro alkane and we can get amine directly now this is reduction because basically this is removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen so nitro groups can be reduced very easily to amine the reduction tendency of nitro group is very high because it's polar and the bond between nitrogen and oxygen are not very strong as it is between carbon and oxygen so c double bond o cannot be reduced very easily if you go for reduction with s2 pd it will not be reduced very easily the pressure has to be high the temperature has to be high but the reduction of this nitro group which is with h2 pd is much easier than that of reduction of carbonyl group so redu reduction tendency of this nitro group is higher higher than that of carbonyl group so this nitro group can be easily re reduced even with hydrogen in presence of palladium catalyst to amine group now there are other reducing agents there could be a metal so like tin in presence of hcl that will also give the same final product that is amine fine now instead of tin we can take iron as well or we can also go for zinc generally these three metals are taken to give for the reduction of nitro group so this nitro group can be reduced using s2pd this can be reduced using metal and hcl as well those metal can be tin iron or zinc so this nitro group is reduced to amine now there are various stages through which this reduction goes if you look at the structure of nitro this is the nitro this double bond is reduced first when this double bond is reduced this oxygen goes away with hydrogen to form water so like the the process we understand how it will happen suppose if you're if you're going with tin hcl then tin is going to release electron and that electron is going to go into the orbital of nitrogen oxygen is to is going to gain a plus charge as we have seen in various reactions as we have seen it in pinacol pinacolone rearrangement that electron lost by a metal goes into the atom and more electronegative atom gains a negative charge so this oxygen is going to become oh and then one more h plus is going to come water is going to go away and this nitrogen is going to gain a hydrogen so without going into the details this will be the first reduced product one oxygen is going to go away this coordinate bond is going to turn into a covalent bond and a double bond is going to produced is going to be formed between nitrogen and oxygen so this nitro will be first reduced to nitroso and this nitroso is will be further reduced to form oxine if you remember in the chapter of hydrocarbon we studied this group and there we knew that this this group is called oxine when you have a nhoh group attached to a carbon that is a oxine so nitroso will be reduced to oxine and this oxine on further reduction gives us amine now it's a fast reaction and generally this this nitroso and this oxine cannot be isolated from the reaction you start with nitro and very quickly you will end up with amine so amine is the product that we are going to get it cannot be stopped at the stage of nitroso or oxine 
So that's how it goes, and that's how you get amine on reduction of nitro. What you have to remember is, uh, because it's a fast reaction, mechanism is not asked, and the mechanism is also not very well established. So we don't have to bother much about the mechanism of this reaction. We have to know that this is the reactant, and these are the reagents, and amine will be the final product. So nitro group on reduction produce amine group. Fine.